I was coming to terms with the fact that this is me. This is me. Umdu will have to just love me for me. <laughs> and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kumani Mona and thank you for stopping by thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for subscribing I appreciate every subscribe button that you guys clicked on and I share I'm feeling pretty good you know I'm, I'm feeling pretty good you guys are pretty awesome so thank you so much for the support in today's video the category is Skin. <laughs> we know that skincare plays a very important role in your overall makeup look and I thought why not talk about skincare before I dive deep into um, makeup related content right and I thought let me share my skin journey because honey it's been long it's been rough it's been tough it's been tense yo my skin right now this is the best it's ever been guys i'm not even lying okay so this video is for those of you who are looking to improve your skin like i have if you have acne hyperpigmentation or just breakouts um and you want to improve your skin and you don't know where to start or what products to use if you are just feeling like you're about to give up i'm hoping that this video can help you um kickstart your skin and maybe the products that i recommend for you guys can help you i'm in no way shape or form saying that you need to improve your skin if you feel like there's no need for that then that's okay if you are happy and content with your skin that is okay i'm not here telling you that you need a fix because you don't need it but if you want it then hopefully you can get it right here in this video so that's just a disclaimer guys okay so let me just say um my family does have a history of eczema you know heat rashes sensitive skin dry skin and all that so it was in grade 9 2010 when i was like mm -mm, something is happening something is happening on my skin on my face so my skin was really dry you know very flaky um it looked like an extra layer of skin like ringworm really insecure to the point my aunt is feely because i still thought i was the baddest but i did notice people staring you know and i'll be like okay are you like looking at me because i'm the girl or are you paying attention to what's happening on my face that's the only time i felt oh about my skin right otherwise i was a very happy child i was okay i was content right it's just really uncomfortable i was really in pain it was so annoying cool my parents took me to um, a dermatologist first they took me to a gp then a dermatologist then back to a gp back to a dermatologist and um the dermatologist referred me to pe to a specialist she said right so pe i was like it was good the PE dermatologist just looked at me and said what's stressing you and I was like bruh Gulen's are stress are no dig deeper fine the PE dermatologist gave me this liquidy situation see-through liquidy thing it smelled like spirit it smelled like vodka guys I was like oh, oh. I had to put that on my face every day it was burning it was itchy it actually made things worse it never cleared my skin yo <laughs> during that time you know um, grade 9 to matric I was using your e45 aqueous cream to wash and moisturize my face because I didn't want any fragrance I didn't want anything that was gonna be too harsh on my skin um, so that was me for most of my high school life so by the time I got to varsity, I was so fed up with GPs. I was fed up with dermatologists. I was like, I don't need your help. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm going to fix myself, right? Okay, Google. Do, 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 do. I described what was happening on my face. And I self-diagnosed myself because nobody else would. So I self-diagnosed myself with suburg dermatitis okay so suburg dermatitis is defined as a skin condition that causes uh, scaly patches and red skin mainly on the scalp 
It also occurs on oily areas of the body, such as the face, upper chest, and back. And in addition to that, it can cause stubborn dandruff. My god, that was me, bro. Bro. Hey. I didn't experience it on my chest and back, but babes, dermatitis was me and I was it. Like, that was me. Red, scaly, patches, that was me. Stabbing dandruff on my scalp, that was me, you know? So my skin was really, my skin and my scalp were really problematic. Like, I would, guys, I would peel. Like, the and I had a lot of flakes on my scalp. Like, if I would do this, just scratch my scalp, well, it's just here. Yeah, I would be doing this. It was so embarrassing. I used to just do this. Like, that's gross, right? Ew, ew. It was so hopeful when I found out that I have this thing, you know. I was like, nine years in Sokolo. Nine years in Sokolo. Nine years. One day, Okay, it was seven years of in Sokolo. But damn, I was like, there is hope. There is hope. So I'm going to take you guys through the two main trial and error products that I used. I'm just going to tell you how they worked for me. Okay. So the first combo, right? I shampooed with Head and Shoulders. Anything that said stubborn dandruff, I used it from Head and Shoulders. Then I moisture, I washed my face with the Epizone, you know the Epizone range from Clicks, the Epizone ointment. I used that. It's like Vaseline. I used that, and then I would wash it off, and then I moisturized with the Epizone hydrating cream as well as the zero derm sunscreen it had a high spf so i was like i need this i need this and it was very moisturizing cool that worked but the slightest bit like maybe for someone else it could work but for me it worked just gangling and then what else yeah no the dandruff was very much still there you could see the flakes coming up to the surface um it was a lot of work okay if I had even one flake on my skin, on my face, putting foundation over it would not hide it. Like, you could see that girl. That girl was <laughs> peeking right through. The second combo, she was the baby girl she thought she was, okay? I used Denorex. Denorex? Denorex. Denorex shampoo, okay? I don't know how to say it. Denorex shampoo from Clicks. Game changer. Like, 10 out of 10 she worked and she worked fast first week i applied the shampoo i could see the flakes were rising to the surface whatever i'll take a comb and i oh, and i would just get rid of the flakes um but i could still see flakes when my scalp would dry down i could still see flakes after the second week baby girl there was only one flake one flake i used to be like you don't go here move like there was one flake i used to just Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Okay, this shampoo is it. Okay, cool. My face was still an issue though. So what I did was I washed my face with the pure glycerine soap. The bar, I washed with that. It was great. It was awesome. And then I moisturized with the pure glycerine cream. Hey, come on, Nandi, guys. Mm. Like, wow. I was serving face, guys. I went there. Okay. For me. In the winter time, I used the sheer butter from Native Child okay like that was a, that whole combo was great the dinner rick shampoo i got from clicks i used to buy from clicks the pure glycerine soap and the pure glycerine cream i used to get from discam and the sheer butter from native child i used to get off the native child website when i was buying my hair products or i got it from game because now game also stocked up on native child products so that sheer butter combo with the pure glycerine soap and cream as well as the dinner rack shampoo bro that combo was great okay but the thing is about everything that i tried is that after three weeks my breakout would come back the dermatitis would come back Wait. just after three weeks like it wasn't a lot of time just after three weeks when you're starting to get excited Ooh, yeah. So that was the oh that was the frustrating part of it. 2019, I had a world map on my face, guys. I had borders. <laughs> I had borders, okay. Um, it was like a map, bruh. I can't even explain it. It was a map. It was a shade or two lighter than my actual skin complexion, and it had 
they be map cry be map guys and i actually liked it i actually got used to it and i liked it because it wasn't so bumpy it was relatively smooth and i was like at least it's not red at least it's not itchy you know at least this at least that i was coming to terms with the fact that this is me this is me umdu will have to just love me for me <laughs> I was like, whoever walks into my life, I'm going to the map. Funega and the tartan, I'm map, guys. I don't know at what point my skin turned into a map, but I was using the same products I was using in 2018. So 2020, I'm not tired. I'm like, I'm still looking, right? So I'm at home in East London, and then my mom says, Hey, don't be. There's a dermatologist in in East London, you know. A dermatologist and I know you should check her out. I'm like, I'm like dima, 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 dima. no, 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 no. I am over dermatologists. You are triggering me. You are triggering me. Okay, no, I'm done. Ban low. You know, I'm just ban low. And she's like, no, go to her and check her out. I'm like, fine. No, it's a black dermatologist who just opened her practice in East London, right? <laughs> We're part of that. And I went to her and um, she diagnosed me with suburg dermatitis. I was like, I knew it. I called it. I called it. Um, and she's like, why have you been suffering for all these years? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, maybe we needed a new dermatologist in town. You know, because there was one dermatologist in, in East London at the time. Yes, guys, she prescribed the best products. I've been using them for three months and I'm just... I have this face to show for it, okay? I have this face to show for it. I'm gonna take you through those products right now. Some you can get over the counter and some are via prescription. The first product, I can't even save the best for last, I'm sorry. The first product I think is the best. I think it does the most work for me. Like, I can't, I, I actually can't. It's the Kiz shampoo, okay? This shampoo, my god. Effective dandruff treatment with conditioner. And then it also says long lasting control thing. Like this, honestly, honestly. This you can get over the counter, I'm pretty sure. You can get this over the counter. I don't know how much it is, but it you need it. It is worth checking out. Go to the nearest pharmacy and get this baby girl. Please. So this shampoo is for my hair, but it's also a face wash for my face okay i know it's weird but it works so for shampooing what i do is i wet my hair my scalp and then i open rows and then i just apply this in on my scalp and then i leave it there for five minutes and then i rinse it off and then i wash my hair with my normal products right for face what i do is i kind of i don't have a steamer so i kind of um, use hot water to rinse my face um, and then I, I keep rinsing my face with hot water and then I just go Oop, and then rub that all over my face leave it for five minutes and then rinse it off um, and honestly guys I'm in love with this product this one my sugar so the next product is the Locoid cream I use this one to moisturize during the day um, it's kind of oily so I don't use a lot and I think this one you get via Prescription. The next product is this Lamisil cream. It's an antifungal cream. And this cream helps at night. It's not as greasy as the Lockoid, um, and you can get this over the counter. Mm -hmm. So I could, I think the Kiss shampoo together with the Lamisil cream could really do something for you. Um, the next, the next product is finished or oh, five to finishing. This is the Dovate um, ointment, and this is a steroid. I use this to base my hair. I meant to do it daily. Um, when I had braids, I really forgot. But now that I have my afro out and it's always in twists, it's I don't know. I just remember <laughs> to do it every day, or I do it every second day. Um, yeah. So those are the products I'm using. I'm so happy with these products. They have sustained me for three months, guys. I've been using them for three months, and um, obviously, I recommend these products because they've worked the longest on my face. You consult your GP or your dermatologist obviously if you have uh, something similar to what I've described otherwise the Kiss shampoo and the Lamisil cream is something you can get over the counter and I think it's something that's worth 
trying out so, need to find a sunscreen that's gonna work for my face otherwise this skin right here the credit goes to my dermatologist i'm going to link her details in the description box if you are in east london and would like to check her out products the combos i mentioned before although they didn't really work for me long term i still do feel like we are different you know we react to products differently so what didn't work for me might work for you so that's why i feel like you should still go out and try pure glycerine soap and dinovac shampoo you should still try out um the epizone range from clicks um i think it could i think it could help you you know and lastly i just want to say if you are someone who is struggling with acne acne scarring hyperpigmentation psoriasis dermatitis anything like that i just want to remind you that you are beautiful you are the girl you think you are. You are not defined by these skin conditions. However, the insecurities and the frustrations that come with these um, skin conditions are so valid. They're so valid. I have felt some of them. If you are someone who's super confident in your breakouts, in your acne, your hyperpigmentation, that's great. That's the energy we all want and need. But those of you who are so frustrated and really want to improve your skin, don't give up search and you'll find something that will really really help you so now that skincare is out of the way i'm going to be bringing you guys more makeup content i hope you guys stay engaged hope you keep subscribing and um let's grow please don't forget to follow me on instagram at kumanimona and i'll see you in the next video bye